Okay, let's have a look at how you can use macro photography without using a macro photography lens. Now I've got my standard iPhone camera lens here. And as you can see, if I get too close, I can't focus on my subject or my foreground. When I get the appropriate distance, it's not quite macro, but it does give me a beautiful depth of field. Let's just have a quick look at that. That depth of field is gorgeous. Okay, let's have a look at how we can make this macro. Because I've shot with good lighting, it gives us a much better chance when we do this editing process to retain the quality. So I've gone to my edit settings and from here, I'm just gonna give it an auto adjust just to increase the contrast and the color. There we go. I've gone to my crop settings and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna two fingers push apart and I'm just gonna zoom my image in just until it looks like it's macro photography but it's not quite losing quality. There we go. And I've gone to 16 by nine. And that is how you can make your image look like macro photography without using a macro lens. This strictly isn't macro photography, but it's a good workaround until you can either afford to get a lens if you want a lens, or if you don't want a lens, at least you can use this technique within your own work. Okay, let me give this a quick color grade just to make that stand out apart. Excellent, and there's my finished photo. I'll pop it in and you can have a look for yourself.